Today we're going to be changing the text of our buttons, of our WooCommerce store pages as well as our product pages. We're going to be changing it from add to cart to buy now and the button will work just as it did before just with our own custom text. We're not going to be downloading a plugin, we're going to be using our own custom code and let's start a timer just to show how quick this really is. So as you can see on my store page of this example website, I do have add to basket and if I go into the page, you can see that it's add to basket inside the single product page as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our dashboard, we're going to be using our themes function file. If you're like me and you like using your own custom plugin for these type of things, then rather use your own custom plugin. The code stays the same, just put it inside your plugin instead of doing the theme function file. So we're going to head off to appearance in the theme file editor. So once we're in the editor, let's go into our themes functions file. To do that, we go into the right, we click the themes functions file. If it doesn't say theme functions, then just look for functions.php. In this file, we leave everything as is. We go right down to the bottom. We find a space to put in our own code. So the first thing we're going to do is going to add a note just to say what this function is for. It's very helpful to have a note for every function so that you know what it does when you come back to it. So my note for this function is this function is to add custom text to my store and product button. So now let's make a function. Now remember that all your functions have to have a very custom name so it doesn't interfere with anything else inside your website. So the function name I'm going with is my custom button text. Don't forget to add your brackets and then the brace to house the code that we're going to put into this function. Now this function is very small just one line or all we're going to say is return with a double underscore and then we're going to open up a bracket here so inside this bracket we're going to add the text that we want our buttons to have so we're going to add it in single quotation marks and within those quotation marks we're going to say the words buy now so instead of buy now you can add whatever you want to customize your button but with me for this example i'm just going to say buy now and the second variable we're going to add is just to say that this affects all woocommerce buttons so all we have to put in there is the word woocommerce now make sure your function is closed so now we're going to add two filters here the one filter is going to be the text of the buttons in the store page and the other one is going to be for the buttons in the product page so we're going to say the words add underscore filter we're going to open up a bracket and then in single quotation marks we're going to say woocommerce product add to cart text that's going to be the filter that we're going to be affecting and then we're going to call our custom function so it's going to be another comma and then single quotation marks and then the name of the function which in my case is my custom button text then we close off the brackets semicolon and that's going to be the filter for the buttons in our store page now we're going to add the filter to the product page so this product filter is going to be very similar so it's going to be add filter open up the brackets then it's going to be a single quotation marks and the, then the filter we're going to be triggering is going to be the WooCommerce product single add to cart text. Close the quotation mark and then we're going to call our function. So it's comma single quotation mark my custom button text single quotation mark close close the bracket and then semicolon. And that's it, it's done. We say update file. So now that it's saved all our store buttons and our product page buttons are now going to be saying buy now. So now if I go into the front you can still see it says add to basket. If I refresh, it'll now say buy now. And there we go. Hope you like this. Very quick tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.